You ever heard the term, baby needs new pair of shoes? My name is Dean Hale, and that's a term you might hear when you're in a casino playing uh, casino craps or bank craps, as it's called. The essential elements of the game are you have a shooter, and his goal is, on his first come out, is to either roll a 7 or an 11. If he rolls a 7 or 11, he wins. If he rolls a 2, a 3, or a 12, that's called craps, and he loses. If he rolls any other number besides 7, 11, 2, 3, or 12, that's called their point. The point, at that, after they get their point, they then must hit the point again to win and to keep on rolling. So if somebody rolls the dice and they roll, let's say, a 5, they would have to roll another 5 to win. However, if they roll a 7, before they roll that 5, they lose, and the dice would be passed along to the next shooter. As people play casino craps, there are people around the table, and they also have the option of betting. The most popular uh, bet is called the pass line. If you put, say, $10 on the pass line on the shooter, if they come out and they roll a 7 or 11, they win, you win also because you bet on them. They roll 2, two 3, or 12, which is craps, you lose. Again, they have the point to make if they, run any, if they roll anything else. So if they hit that number, you win. The shooter will keep on, it's called, every time a shooter start, uh, comes again, the first time they roll the dice is called the come out. On the come out, again, 7-11 they win. They keep on rolling until they would, they would, what they call in Vegas, until they would crap out, having craps. And then it would pass along to, the, to the, somebody on the table. There are other various betting options on the table, but the simplest one, if you've never played craps before, is just use the pass line, and that'll be your simplest way to make money playing craps. Let's see if we can roll a 7 here. I rolled a 7. My name is Dean Hale. We'll see you at the tables.